Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. <coughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee genies. Come on, let's get moving. Who knows the story of Aladdin? He found this magic lamp and when he rubbed it, a genie popped out. You mustn't come true, Granny Mother. I command you to jump on the spot. <laughs> well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson and Dr. Juno. Hello there. <laughs> Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson clever boy. Come on, Dave. <gasps> come and say hello to Samson, everyone. <laughs> oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, gentlemen, darlings. <laughs> well, how about we stop the pats and we dress up Claude? Oh, good idea, Granny Murray. Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. You'll get a good view from there where we dress Claude up as Abanaza. Oh, you mean Abanaza, the baddie from the story of Aladdin? I certainly do. And I expect you'll be wondering how I know about that, Dr. Juno. Or should I say Aladdin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Come, let us take our magic carpet to the chairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, you were fabulous. Oh, so you saw me playing Aladdin in the pantomime? I did, last night at Cathedral Halls. You were magnificent. Oh, thank you. Do you know, my favourite bit was when you rubbed the lamp and the genie popped out and made all your magical dreams come true. Oh, yes. Then Abanaza tried to get hold of the magic lamp and Raymond, as widow Twanky, went and gave away the lamp by mistake. Raymond is widow Twanky. <laughs> Oh, I'm Widow Twanky. Oh, bless me bloomers. <laughs> oh, I really liked the part when I got one up on Abanaza. <gasps> I played a magic trick on him and flipped him out into outer space. And then I jumped onto the magic carpet and flew to Egypt and married Tina the princess. And lived happily ever after. We did. <laughs> oh, being in the panther with Raymond and Tina. Oh, it was brilliant. I can't help thinking about it. Well, good memories can make you feel so much better. <laughs> oh, look at Claude, the perfect Abanaza. Oh, more good memories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well done, everyone. Claude looks amazing. Oh, he's pantotastic. Oh, but wait, we can't have this magic lamp anywhere near Abanaza. <laughs> you take it to work with you. Oh, if you're sure. I'll try to be extra careful with it today. Oh, yes. I try not to get up to too many tricks. <laughs> right. Bye, Samson. And abracadabra, off to work with you. <laughs> now remember, good memories can make you feel so much better. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine Time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? 
Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey. Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh, yes. I've got to put my scrubs on. We're dressed and ready to go. Morning, Doug. Did you know? Oh, morning, Nurse Henry. Oh, that's a lot of paperwork. I think I'm going to need a genie to help me sort this lot out. Maybe one will appear if I rub this lamp. Hiya! Oh! It's you! Oh, my darling widow twanky. Mwah. 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 I brought you a wee present. Oh, there's you as Aladdin. Oh, wow. And there's me as widow twanky. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can I keep these? Of course. I printed them off especially for you. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, bless small bloomers. Is that the time? <laughs> well, I better get going. So, you have a good day and don't give away any more lamps. <laughs> Bye, Raymond. I wish Samson had seen me as Aladdin. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. You know, uh, sorry to interrupt. I know not of this Dr. June of whom you speak. Oh, the pantomime. I forgot you were doing that last night. How did it go? Oh, very well, thank you. We had them rolling in the aisles. Granny Murray said she laughed so much she nearly burst. I'm sorry, I missed that. I was on a late yesterday. Oh, don't worry about that. I've got some photos to show you. That's me as Aladdin. <laughs> And that's Raymond, if you can believe your eyes, as Widow Twanky. Wow! <laughs> wow, exactly. Oh, happy memories. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, right now, it's time to get back to work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. Can you come and take a look at something? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is Sean. He fell off his bike earlier today. He's hurt his arm and bumped his head. Was he wearing a helmet? No. He's been sick and he keeps repeating himself quite a bit. Well, it sounds like he's a bit concussed. Make sure he gets regular drinks of water and don't let him sleep for more than a couple of hours. Wake him up and get him to use the bathroom. That should help us to see how he's doing. No problem, Doc. OK. I'll see you later, Sean. Yeah. I hope my Samson plays it safe today. Oh, 
Oh, Samson, you remind me of my old dog, Bertie. He was just like you, bounding all over the place. Oh, he was adorable. And thank you for bringing him round to see me. He's a sight for sore eyes. My pleasure. <laughs> and Samson, even though Dr. Juno isn't with you all the time, I bet she thinks of your little face all the day long. Sean seems to be okay. The little boy who fell off his bike? That's right. The only thing is, we don't seem to be able to get through to him. He keeps repeating himself and talking in like a strange language. Oh. Hello, Sean. Remember me? I'm Dr Juno. Thank you. No, Dr Juno. Thank you. Hmm. How are you feeling? How's your head? Thank you. Oh, it's a bit of a mystery. Oh, I've worked really hard. I've followed all the right procedures and have done everything I should have done. But I'm a bit worried about little Sean. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I arrived at Granny Murray's with Samson. Granny Murray and the children were playing a game with an old lamp, just like the one from the story of Aladdin. Then they dressed Claude like Abanaza. I chatted with Granny Murray about my performance as Aladdin, and she had loved the show especially when Raymond, dressed as Widow Twanky, said, Bless my bloomers! Granny Murray let me take the old lamp to the hospital to remind me of the fun I'd had playing Aladdin in pantomime. At 8 o'clock, Raymond dropped into the hospital to give me some glossy photographs of us in our panto costumes. At 9 o'clock, I showed the photos to Nurse Hendry. He thought Raymond looked brilliant as Widow Twanky. At 3 o'clock, Nurse Hendry asked me to take a look at a little boy called Sean. He had fallen off his bicycle and bumped his head. I thought Sean was probably okay, just a little shaken up. But I asked Nurse Hendry to keep a close eye on him, just the same. At four o'clock, Nurse Hendry told me he was having trouble understanding what Sean was talking about. I tried to have a chat with him, but he just kept saying, Tanky. Why? No, remember. Good memories can make you feel so much better. Good memories can make you feel so much better. Oh, of course. He must be saying Twanky. He must have seen the pantomime last night and he wants to see Widow Twanky. Oh, I think that should make him feel much better after his bump. I've got to find Widow Twanky. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. Before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it She's going to do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it She's going to start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm gonna beat the <laughs> what have we here? A little boy who's bumped his head. Just like Humpty Dumpty. Oh dear. So, did you enjoy the pantomime yesterday, Sean? Yeah. And did you remember to say boo when the wicked Abanaza took the lamp off Aladdin? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sean's going to be fine. Just make sure he wears a helmet every time he gets on his bike, OK? Thanks, Doctor. Oh, Samson. I can't wait to see you later, my boy. <laughs> Look, Samson. Oh, we're going to do a wee trick. Yes, we are. Now, hands behind my back. Oh, 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 oh. Which hand is a treating? Which one? Which one? Give us a paw. Oh, you remembered, you clever boy. You remembered. You're so good. And you'll remember that Dr Juno will be home soon, so we better get going. Come on, my good boy. Come on, Samson. Dr Juno, come and see who's here, Samson. 
Samson. Hello, Samson. Oh, good boy. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Good memories can make you feel so much better. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, no, you'll want to be all. Bye bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hopping, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Abanaza from the story of Aladdin because Dr. Juno played Aladdin in the pantomime last night. Dr. Juno called by with Samson this morning and we had a good old chinwag about her performance in the pantomime and she felt sad that it was now all over. So I let her borrow my old lamp so she could remember her time as Aladdin. I took the children to the park, they put on their cycling helmets and had a good old ride about. After Samson had a good old runabout, I took him to see Marjorie. She loves to see Samson because he reminds her of her old dog Bertie. Samson was a very good boy all afternoon and so I gave him a little treat. Meanwhile, Dr Juno remembered what I told her. Good memories can make you feel so much better. She asked Raymond to dress up as Widow Twanky to help a little boy feel better after he'd bumped his head. Bless my bloomers. <laughs> We've had a lot to remember. Looking back, it's been quite a day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Emma. And we've got Beth, but don't just sit there, pickles. Come on, let's get busy. What's Granny Murray's shelves today? Wow, bird whistlers. Have a wee shot at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, we've got Emma and we've got Beth, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, yes, it's Lisa with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. Oh, and Lisa. Come on, we through honey pies and see But now you're here, Lisa will dress Claude up as a feathery bird and we'll call him a Claude Whooper. <laughs> and we can flutter over to the cheers, Cupcake. Oh, yes, Lisa. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> so what's all this bird stuff about then? Oh, well, I've been asked to take part in a bird survey to find out about all the different birds we have in River Sea Fingal. Oh, like budgies and... Oh, no, no, wild birds. Birds you'd find out in your garden. Now, I have to jot down all the different birds I see in this notebook and Bobby's coming along to help. And I expect the children will want to join in too. Oh, you'll have a house full. Oh, well, the more the merrier, that's what I see. I like bird song. It's so <sighs> peaceful. Ah. Right, I'd best get up to the garage. I've got to go and pick up some props that Raymond and I will be needing in our performance at the River Sea Fingal Social Club later. Oh, the clubby! What are you doing? Oh, we're doing a sand and snake dance. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> oh, Claude looks ready to fly. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Granny Murray, there's the first bird for you to jot down. The Claude Whipper. Oh, yes, they're very rare. I'll jot it down. <laughs> well, I'd best be off to work now. Here you are. Oh, a snake puppet. Can you use it in your snake dance? <gasps> I can use it in my snake dance. Oh, well, well, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> oh, well, I'll see you later. You have a good day with Granny Murray. OK. Bye. <laughs> Come on. Bye. 
Now remember, the more the merrier. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. Could you tell me the fastest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter under she's no squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speed to work. Phew! Well, what now? Of course! I have to get ready for work. <laughs> and ready to go. Light of my life, sweet maid, fair damsel. Raymond! <laughs> <laughs> Have you come to Toro? Yep, we'll be needing it for our sand and snake dance tonight. Oh, <laughs> it's in the garage somewhere. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here it is. Oh, no. Now, we'll have to make that look more like a snake before our show in the clubby tonight. Oh, well, we can pop Lisa's snake puppet on later. Great. So, how about a quick rehearsal? Oh, yes. Well, why don't we just use the snake as it is just now? OK. <laughs> and how about out there? Right. OK. Ready, love? Yeah. After three. One, two, three. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, that should knock them dead at the clubby tonight. <laughs> oh, right, well, it's time I was at work. But it's only a short shift today, so see you later, love. Oh, bye, love. OK, well, I'll drop this rope off at the clubby while I'm out working in my taxi. I wonder what my little hisser is up to. <laughs> I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo by the sea. I love to skip. Bingle, that's for me. Okay, who's got seeds and nuts for the bird table? That's the way, Adam, you hang that up. Hang it up there. Oh, that's lovely. Do you think we'll have lots of wee birds coming to feed from our table? Yes. <laughs> I hope we see a blackbird, Lisa. That's your mum's favourite, isn't it? What's it like at work, Mummy? Caught under the wheel. Ooh. It's the handbrake. It's a bit dodgy. I didn't pull it on hard enough. So the taxi has rolled onto the rope. <sighs> I really must get that handbrake fixed. Now, that's that done. I reckon it's time for me to get down to some hard work. City roads are waiting. Big lights are changing Police cars are cruising The trucks keep on trapping And the city roads are waiting for me To take a drive in my pretty pink taxi, taxi. People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi Get into the back and just relax for the ride Pretty pink taxi, she's going Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi.
That handbrake is getting looser and looser. I really must get it tightened up soon. Hi, Tina. You all set for your show at the cubby tonight? Oh, yes, I think so. Oh, I can't wait. I've never seen a sand and snake dance before, but uh, you're not going to be using a real snake, are you? Because I don't really like snakes all that much. No, don't worry, Mickey John. We're going to be using a rope. Oh, good. With this the oh. the end of it. Oh, Tina, don't scare me like that. Oh, snakes, oh. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, ta-ta. See you soon. <laughs> Oh, poor Mickey John. Fancy not liking snakes. You wouldn't have to flee, would you, Mr. Snake? No, no. Ah! Oh, get off! Let go my dog! Let go my dog! Oh. I wonder how Lisa's getting on. <laughs> I love to skip. Look at all the birds that turned bird table. Look, Bobby. Oh, wow. Oh, this is such fun, Granny Murray. I'm so glad that you asked me over to watch the birds. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh, look, Lisa, there's a blackbird. Oh, take it on your list, my darling. Well done. Lisa will have to tell your mum we saw a blackbird. <laughs> I must bring you here to Hillington Lane sometime, Lisa. Hmm? Oh, I love it here. Well, just listen to all those birds singing. I could do with some fresh air. I can hear the birds even clearer now. Oh, magic. Well, I could listen to these birds all day. I feel so calm now. Yes, this is just what I needed before I start work again. Oh, my taxi! Oh, I don't believe it. Well, the handbrake must have come loose again. It's all my own fault. I should have taken a taxi to get the handbrake fixed instead of coming to listen to the birds singing. Oh, I've been working so hard all day. I take a break and then my taxi's ended up in a ditch. Well, what am I going to do? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's. She told me they were going to be watching birds later for a special survey. So the children dressed Claude as a feathery bird called the Claude Whooper. At nine o'clock, I got to the garage, ready for work. Raymond called by to look for a rope to use in our sand and snake dance that we're doing at the clubby later. We decided to have a quick rehearsal. At 10 o'clock, I was winding up the rope and saw that it was stuck under my taxi tyre. The handbrake was loose, so the taxi rolled backwards onto the rope. But I managed to pull the rope free and put it in the boot. Then at 2 o'clock, I popped back to the garage and the handbrake came loose again. Luckily, I spotted the taxi rolling backwards in time. Mickey John called in. He was really looking forward to our sand and snake dance. At three o'clock, I stopped for a break to listen to the birds at Hillington Lane. But the handbrake came loose again, and this time I didn't notice. So my taxi has rolled into a ditch. How am I going to get it out? Now remember, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. Well, I could use the rope in my boot to pull the taxi out of the ditch, but I can't do it on my own. So I need to find people to help me. So, the more the merrier. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm working for it. I'm going to do it. She's going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. She's going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Thank 
Thank you. Thank you. I think you really should get that handbrake looked at, my love. I know, I know. I'll take it into the garage to get it fixed on the way home. What are you doing with that rope? I'm making it look more like a snake for our sand and snake dance later. Hey, I know. Why don't we do our show here as a thank you to all the people who helped to save my taxi? Ready when you are. <laughs> hey, Mr. Snake. A little bird told me that Lisa is having lots of fun with Granny Murray just now. We saw that one. We did see that one. Do you want to put that in Granny Murray's tree? Good girl. Oh, we and saw we that saw. One. Now, do you remember what? What's this one called again? A magpie. Yes, we saw that one. And we saw, we saw you too. too. And we saw them too. We did, a wee blackbird. And you know something? Your mum is going to be flying over to pick you up and take you home soon. <laughs> Granny Murray? You betcha! Yeah. Well, you say thanks to Granny Murray. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, music, I do. <laughs> oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. The more the merrier. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, you'll want to be home. <laughs> Bye-bye, my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a bird because we were getting ready to look at all the different birds that visit my garden. The children and I set up a bird table. We put all sorts of food on it to make sure we had plenty of birds to watch. Bobby came round and we had a brilliant time spotting the different birds that came to tuck in at the bird table. We made a list of all the birds we'd seen. Later, we stuck bird pictures on a tree. Tweet, tweet! Tina saw some birds as well, but she was so busy listening to them that she had a wee accident with her taxi. But Tina remembered me saying, the more the merrier. It saved the day and her taxi. Oh, maybe you could have a look out for some birds. You might even see a lesser spotted Granny Murray. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has one at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to. Who's here today? Well, today we've got Junior, but don't just sit there, my wee rocker. Come on, let's get moving, baby. <laughs> Up on your feet. Someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Bobby. Yes, with Kai. Bobby. Hi, Granny Hello. Murray. <laughs> we have been having a great laugh playing air guitar, haven't we, Junior? Oh, wow. I love playing air guitar. Come on, Kai. Rock on. Oh, go for it, Bobby. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why don't you dress Claude up as a pop star? Don't forget his guitar, boys. And we can rock and roll to the chairs, Bobby. Good yeah. idea. <laughs> Do you know what? Sometimes when I'm at work, I pretend to be a pop star. Come on, baby. Yeah, rock on, baby. Yeah, rock on, baby. Woo! Come on, baby. Oh, darling, what a rocker. But what I love most about singing in the depot is because it's so big, you get these brilliant echoes. Echoes, echoes, echoes. <laughs> I love them. Echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Look, I really think I'd better get off to work. Oh, will you look at Claude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Claude, you look cool, man. Jeremiah, uh -huh. I want you to play the best when you're at work. Oh, Let's thanks, see. Kai. You ready? Come on, baby. <laughs> Woohoo! We'll see rock on, baby. I'll play this and I will think of you. Oh. Come here, give us a hug. Mm. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Come on. Now remember, echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Well, you keep a wee eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way Which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. I look in this way and that away. Oh, hello, Digger. Hello, Drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, Drain. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that's a way. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way. OK, I've arrived at work. What's next? Mm-hmm, that's right. I need to change into those work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. <laughs> I wonder if I could really play the guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... Cool sound. It's a bit like playing guitar and having your very own backing band. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Bobby and the Buses with her amazing backing group, Echo! Come on, baby! I said, rock on, baby! Woohoo! Come on! Hello, Dr. Juno. <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> Just messing about a bit. How are you? Absolutely exhausted. Oh, you poor thing. I've had such a hard day. I was worried I'd fall asleep peddling my bike. So I thought I'd come and see you and ask for a quick cup of tea to revive me for the journey home. Of course. <laughs> After you. Oh, make yourself comfy and I'll brew you up a nice cuppa. Oh, you angel. <laughs> you just relax there. Oh, I could flop here all night. How's Kai? Kai? Oh, 
he's a star. <laughs> All safe and snug with Granny Murray. <laughs> Would you like to be an echo? Okay, okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm silly. I'm silly. Woo, Kai. Woo, Kai. Your mummy had an echo at the bus depot too. Mummy. Oh, mummy. <laughs> Thinking of you, Mummy. Oh, Kai. <laughs> what on earth is that noise? <laughs> hey, Dr. Juno, can you hear that funny no... <sighs> oh, look. It's Dr. Juno. Oh, she's fallen asleep. <laughs> and she's snoring. <laughs> um, Dr. Juno? <laughs> Dr. Juno, wakey-wakey. Huh? Oh, what's the emergency? Oh, Bobby. Sorry, I was dreaming. <laughs> you were snoring. I don't snore. Oh, well, if you weren't snoring, you were making a really funny sort of a noise, just like this. <laughs> was I doing that? Yes, oh. you were. Well, that's not snoring exactly. No? No, it was the air I was breathing in causing a vibration of the soft palate of the roof of my mouth, resulting in a hoarse noise. Mm. Vibration, eh? Well, I'd really better get back to work. Oh, then I'd better go home and get to bed before I fall asleep again. <laughs> oh, thanks for the cup of tea and the nap. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Right, time for me to get on with some hard work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye-bye soon Clean in while you're dreaming Making ready while you're in bed Gleaming while you're sleeping Dawn by dawn Lining up all shining They'll be leaving for the day Dazzle the day away Swinging to the city Looking pretty and radiant The hot caps gleam The paintwork shines A river sea double-decker Looks so fine The driver she drives Collecting the fares Leaving then arriving She will get you there This boss is stopping from Picking up and putting down This boss is shining It's the talk of the town And Bobby Boogie Woogie Slipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up She really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight at its sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. That's that done. Bobby! Oh, oh Mickey John! You made me jump. Sorry. I was uh, just wondering if you'd seen Nurse Hendry. No, I don't think so. Why? Well, he was supposed to be getting the bus to my place for supper and a game of billiards, but uh, he never turned up. Well, I think they were quite busy down the hospital tonight. Maybe he's just got held up. Yeah, that's probably it. Well, I'm sorry to trouble you. Say hi to Kai for me. I will. Bye! <laughs> Mickey John says hi, Kai. Hey, it must be nearly time for you to go to sleep. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Dance to your daddy, sing to your mummy, dance to your daddy, to your mummy sing. Thou shall have a fishy on a little dishy, thou shall have a fishy when the boat comes in. My mummy would take this song. Would she, darling? What are you doing now, mummy? What on earth is that noise? Oh, that is spooky. Oh, no, I don't like that noise at all. It's scary. 
Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I should run or scream. What could be making a noise like this? Where did the time go? At five o'clock, I took Kai to stay with Granny Murray. We had great fun playing air guitar. I told Granny Murray that when I sing at the depot, there's a brilliant echo, and Kai gave me a toy guitar to bring to work. At six o'clock, I was playing with the toy guitar when I noticed that my singing was echoing around the bus depot. It sounded amazing. Dr Juno was so exhausted cycling home from work that she called in for a cup of tea. At seven o'clock, I heard a funny noise. It was Dr Juno. She'd fallen asleep and she was snoring. At eight o'clock, I'd just finished some hard work when Mickey John called in to ask if I'd seen Nurse Hendry. He'd been supposed to be getting the bus to see him, but he hadn't turned up. At nine o'clock, I was getting on with my work when I heard this really spooky noise. Now I don't know what to do because it's really frightening me. Now remember, echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Well, that certainly sounds spooky. But maybe it's just an ordinary noise like Dr Juno snoring. Yeah! Yeah, that is a snore. Definitely um, an echoey snore. God, somebody must be fast asleep here in the bus depot. I've just got to find out who it is and where they are. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Nurse Hendry. Nurse Hendry, wakey wakey. What? Is it time to take. Bobby? Am I dreaming? Where am I? You're on a bus, asleep and snoring. <laughs> I never snore. Oh, of course not. I don't. Oh, right. Uh, I suppose it was just a, a result of the air that you were breathing in, you know, um, causing a vibration on the roof of the soft palate of your mouth. Exactly. I work so hard all day and I'm so tired. I must have fallen asleep on my way to Mickey John. Hello? Hello, Mickey John. I've been wondering where you got to. Mystery solved. He was asleep. Oh, you must have been really exhausted to fall asleep on a bus and miss your stop totally. How did you know he was here? He was... vibrating. You mean he was snoring? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll drive you home. Bye, boy. Thanks, Bobby. Bye. Hey, I wonder if my little boy is snoring. One. Mummy will be here in the morning. I wish I was with you, Mum. Mum's here, my darling. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. Aww. <laughs> Have you had a great time? You betcha. I think you should give Granny Murray a big thank you hug, don't you? Thank you. Oh, come here, my treasure! <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> come on, time to get home. Oh, come on, Kai. Let's go. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. But what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a pop star because we were having a great time listening to music and playing air guitar. 
Maud looked really cool. Bobby and I had a good laugh talking about echoes and Kai gave Bobby a toy guitar to take to work. Later on, Kai and I played an echo game and then at bedtime, I sang Kai a lullaby. He really loved that. When I went to check on Kai later, he was snoring softly and sleeping peacefully. And when Bobby came to pick him up in the morning, she told me that she had remembered what I said about echoes making ordinary noises sound spooky and it had saved the day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ho and we've got Molly. But don't just sit there, my wee spring chickens. Come on, let's have some fun. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Papers. Yes, papers. Bring them over. That's the way. You scrunch that one into a bowl. And a wee bit more on. Put some tape around it. That looks perfect. Who's good at catching a ball? Yes? OK. Good catch. Back to Granny Murray. Molly? Good girl. That's the way. Whoa, that was a high one. Well, we've got Hope and we've got Molly. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes. It's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. Mickey John. <laughs> Hello. Hello, and Rebecca, come away through my eyes. Are you doing it by yourself? Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. fingers. <laughs> We've been playing with a paper ball. Hey, we've got a football match at school later. My class versus Mrs Pike's class. Oh, it'll be like the World Cup final. Oh, football, eh? Well, that gives me a good idea. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a footballer, eh? He can be the goalkeeper. Hey. And uh, Mickey John, hit the ball. Oh, <laughs> down the wing, Granny Murray. Your ball. Come on. Go! Oh. <laughs> oh, great shot, Granny Murray. You win the match. <laughs> I don't suppose you fancy playing in my team, do you? I could use a good goal scorer. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't have a puff. Oh, yes, you've got to be very fit to play football. I've been out training with my team every lunchtime. Oh, and what about Miss Pike? Miss Pike's out training every lunchtime and every day after school. They're fit as fiddles. Well, it should be a good match. Well, it's going to be a hard game to win. Miss Pike has a lot of the best players. She's got uh, Ronnie Bickerstaff, she's got Elizabeth Tamworth and uh, Reggie Thornton. Oh, they could easily beat us. Oh, well, it's only a game and it's only for fun. Only a game? Yes. You mustn't take a game too seriously. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. Oh, Claude, you look like a professional goalkeeper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great save, Claude. Did you see his lightning reflexes? <laughs> Come on, you. Off to your work. OK. Oh, look at this. A miniature football. That can be our mascot in the game today. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Have fun with Granny Murray. <laughs> Come on, you. Now remember, it's only a game and it's only for fun. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. If you keep a wee eye on Mickey John, make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city view Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? OK, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. 
Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people. I go up now, do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Okay, that way, up! You told me the way to go. Thank you! You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? Ah, yes, time for a tie. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, hiya, Mickey John. Are you ready for the match? Oh, yes, I'm really excited. I can't wait for the match to start. Come on, you Reds! <laughs> hey, look, I've brought you some uh, tops that your team might like to wear. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Bobby. So, are you coming along to see the match? You bet. I'm going to be there with me scarf. Although, I'm not really sure yet which team I'm going to be supporting. You what? Well, you know, I'm a big fan of Miss Pikes. She's really sporty. And her children are brilliant at games, especially that Vicky Beckham. She's always scoring goals. Yeah, yeah, but I got Geordie Ross on my team. Now, that's what you call a good goalie. Whoa! Brilliant save by Geordie Ross! <laughs> well, anyway, we'll see, we'll see. Listen, I've got to go because I'm going to be late for picking Kai up from nursery. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hmm. i better work on my team plan for the match. It's Mickey John's team on the attack. Quick one, two, an overhead shot. It's a goal! <laughs> I wish you were playing on my team, Bex. I love to skip in Riversy Dingle, Riversy Dingle, by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Dingle, Riversy Dingle, that's for me. To Ellie! <gasps> well done! Oh, hi to Granny Muddy! I would love to have seen that. What are you doing now, Daddy? <laughs> Maybe we can play football at the weekend, Rebecca. Hi, Mickey John. Oh, hello, Raymond. <laughs> are the trains running today? No, I've got the day off. Actually, I've just dropped off Lisa to have a look around the school. Ah, oh, yes, it's buddy day today. That's it. One of the older pupils is showing her the ropes. What was her name again? Elizabeth Tamsworth, <laughs> ah. the one that's really good at football. Yeah, and who plays for Miss Pike's team. Don't remind me. Yeah. Well, seeing as I have the day off, I was thinking of showing Granny Murray and Rebecca around the costume store in the garage. Do you reckon Rebecca would like that? Oh, Rebecca would love that, but I think Granny Murray's taking her for a kickabout round the park. Oh. Well, they won't be very long doing that. Not when it starts raining, anyway. Oh, well, it's not going to rain. It can't. We've got a football match to play. Oh, well, if you say so. Well, I'll go and see Granny Murray. Cheerio. Bye. Oh, there's the bell. And here comes my class. Right, class. We're going to work really hard this morning, so we're all ready to play football this afternoon. And that means me too. It's time to get down to some hard work. Oh, I work with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teach them with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. Secretary smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps her shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning. 
learning when I'm teaching. He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. Well done, everyone. You've all worked really hard this morning, so I'll see you this afternoon out on the football pitch. Off you go. Oh, it's time for me to get ready. I better go off into the team changing room. Ah. Oh. oh, I love dressing up for football, and I'm gonna love this match. I wonder if you're dressing up too, Rebecca. Love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Wow, Giddles, give us a twiddle. <gasps> oh, fantastic. Are you having fun dressing up in Raymond's costumes? Me too. Oh, oh. oh, Raymond, can Rebecca try that one on? Yeah, let's see how you look in this, Rebecca. <laughs> Come on, my darling, let's see you. Yeah. <gasps> look at you. You could have a part in one of Raymond and Tina's shows. Do you think your dad would like to see you in this? Wish me luck in the match, Rebecca. Oh, I better go and check the pitch. Oh, it's going to be a great match. Come on, you lads! Oh. oh no! Oh, it's raining, just like Raymond said. I was so looking forward to the game. Mickey John's class versus Miss Pike's class. Oh, now it's pouring with rain. How are we going to play our game? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. We played with a paper football and it was fun. And the children dressed Claude as a goalkeeper. I told Granny Murray all about the big match, my class against Miss Pike's class. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Bobby dropped off some football shirts for my team, but she wasn't sure which team to support. She said that Miss Pike's team have some really good players. At 9 o'clock, Raymond called by to ask if Rebecca would like to see some of his theatre costumes. As he went, he said it looked like it was going to rain. At 12 o'clock, my class went off for lunch and I got changed into my football kit. I was really excited about the match and I really wanted my class to win. At 1 o'clock, I ran out onto the football pitch and slipped in the mud. It started to rain. My class will never beat Miss Pike's class if we can't even play the game. Now remember... It's only a game, and it's only for fun. It's only a game, and it's only for fun. Granny Murray's right. I'm taking this all far too seriously. If we can't play outside because of the rain, well, we'll just have to make our fun indoors. But it's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's as sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do, I'm working through I'm gonna do it He's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, is my team all ready? Yes! Miss Pike, your team ready? Yes! Okie doke. Hang on, don't stop without me. Ooh. Come on, you reds. And uh, come on, you blues. <laughs> right, time for the kickoff. I don't really know. Doesn't matter though. We all had fun, that's the main thing. Right, everyone, off you go to the changing rooms. Well done. Thank you. 
<laughs> Goal! <laughs> I wonder if you managed to play football, Rebecca. You've had a lovely time. Yeah. Oh, we certainly did. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, my special girl. <laughs> You're good as gold. <laughs> and it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying it's only a game and it's only for fun. Save the day. <gasps> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Come on, you two. Ho, ho. <laughs> And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, begging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, flight, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a goalkeeper because we made a paper football today. And when Mickey John dropped off Rebecca, he told how he was really looking forward to the big match at school. His class were playing Miss Pike's class. I took the children to play ball in the park. Later, Raymond invited us to see his theatre costumes at the garage. We had such fun dressing up. Then we had a game of paper football outside the garage when it stopped raining. <laughs> I can't remember who won because we were all wearing different costumes but it was only a game and only for fun and that's what Mickey John found out too when the rain made him play his big match in the classroom. Oh! <laughs> Goal! Woohoo! I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye honey pie. I love to sit and everything. I love